What is up, everyone? This is Lobo Cinder Five, and welcome back to Star Wars Rebels Recap, Episode Number Three. This time, we're looking at Star Wars Rebels Season Three, Episode Five, The Last Battle. Now, in this episode, the Rebel crew found themselves in a Clone War style situation up against battle droids, but that wasn't the only part of the episode. It got really intense as it went on, and I'm going to tell you guys first and foremost. This was quite possibly my favorite episode for the season so far. So many callbacks to the Clone Wars and so many moments that we could only dream about that we actually got for this episode. So let's get right into it. I'm going to tell you guys first how it went and my reaction to it. Now this episode started off with basically a surprise run to the planet of Agamar. It was going to be an old trade federation based there and they were going to loot it for supplies basically. Upon arriving they found proton bombs. Now, they were trying to find a way to get the proton bombs onto their ship, so they were going to find a way to load it. However, they encountered battle joys, not expecting them. They were caught in ratios and shocked. They were introduced to a super tactical droid that was still operational following the shutdown of all droids after Order 66 was issued. That, of course, was seen in Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Now, the reason this super tactical droid was not shut down is believed that he, well, he actually said that he believed the call to shut down all droids was a trick set in by the Galactic Republic, so he refused the order. Now, obviously, that wasn't the case, as it wasn't the Galactic Republic, it was the Galactic Empire who called that shutdown, because the Republic was gone. So in a sense, he was wrong, but in a sense, he was right. So in this moment, you hear that Rex saying, yes, the Republic is gone, the Empire's installation, let us go. But this super tactical droid is not going to let them go because he believes the Trade Federation should have won the Clone Wars, in a sense. He says that he did the numbers, and if the war would have continued, the Trade Federation would have eventually defeated the Galactic Republic. And in order to prove that, he was going to run a simulation using Captain Rex, Kanan, and Ezra. He wasn't going to let Zeb compete in the simulation because of the fact that the Lasat were not present during the Clone Wars. So Zeb was going to act as the prisoner doing the simulation. Now this is where really, really caught me. This was basically a war game situation set on by this super tactical droid. He was going to use war games to prove that the Trade Federation, the Separatist Alliance, could have defeated the clone army and the Jedi that assisted. So he set us the simulation. As it goes on, you can see a different side of Rex, kind of. You saw a side of him coming out of this is something that he really, really has to do because he is almost like he was trying to prove something to himself. Not only was he trying to prove something to the Rebel crew or prove something to the super tactical droid, it seems like he was trying to prove to himself that he could still fight. Even if it was was against battle droids, old battle droids in that sense, he wanted to prove that he could still fight. Now he did take a few blaster shots in this episode, he took one to the chest, it was saved by the armor. And what's actually interesting is the chest piece he still wears is phase one clone armor, which is known to be actually quite tougher even though it is heavier, it's known to be quite tough in its phase 2 armor. So that saved his life, and he took a blaster shot to the head. And his helmet is actually a combination of phase 1 and phase 2 armor. So that's why he was able to survive both shots and continue on fighting. Now, as the episode progresses, they make it to the command center. Because in order to win this simulation, they had to make it to the command center and capture it. However, when they got there, the Super Tactical Droid threatened to have another battle droid shoot Zeb. In, in occurrence of anything because he actually did calculations and found out that more than likely the Jedi were actually going to win. So in this moment, Ezra basically stops everything and makes them realize that neither the clones nor the Trade Federation won the Clone Wars. He made them realize that if the trade droids were sh told to shut down and the clones were decommissioned, who truly won the Clone Wars? Zeb would say the Empire. And that's when both sides realize, Rex and the Super Tactical Droid realize that they're not the enemies for each other. The Galactic Empire is. And in that moment, the Galactic Empire will, pri will arrive on Agamor because Chopper sent out a distress signal when he entered an old Trade Federation style ship. So the Empire is here. And this is where the golden moment, the moment where I literally marked out, began. The so Trade Federation Joy, the Super Tactical Joy, realized that him and Rex had to work together. And then you saw clones fighting side by side with battle droids, with Jedi in hand as well. Now I do remember something similar like that happened back in the Clone Wars, and R2D2 kind of reprogrammed two battle droids to work for him. But this was on a different level. These weren't re reprogrammed droids. These droids were state of the art, well kind of state of the art considering their age. But they were regular droids, no reprogramming needed, that started working with the Jedi. Now some of these battle droids did escape, some of them were destroyed during the conflict with the Empire. and. You won't be seeing the Super Tactical Droid anymore moving forward because he actually did the calculations of staging a successful 
rebellion against the Galactic Empire and said it was under 1%. And even though we all know he was wrong, he didn't. He chose to leave because he thought the odds of re rebelling against the Empire were too low. So he leaves. And the greatest moment of this episode for me was when the episode ended. They had a Star Wars The Clone Wars style logo for Star Wars Rebels, even playing the old outro, outro music for it. And I thought it was incredibly awesome. It was so nostalgic for me to see that. Clone Wars series is probably one of my favorite series, not just in Star Wars, but outside of Star Wars as well. I really loved this episode. It was great. I can't wait as we're moving forward. We didn't really get any hints for what's going to be happening moving forward in the Rebel season. This is kind of more just something for the fans, I would say. It was really still a great episode. Tell me down in the comment section down below, what did you guys think of Star Wars Rebels Season 3, Episode 5, The Last Battle? Did it give you feelings to see battle droids and clones fighting side by side and without any reprogramming needed? What did you think about the little battle with the Empire? And tell me down in the comments section down below, do you think battle droids could have actually defeated the clones had the war dragged on? I would like to know that, actually, because this episode actually brought that question up for me. So I really want to know. Be sure to leave a like and share this video, guys, if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to next Sunday as we'll be recapping more Star Wars Rebels every Sunday. And be sure to subscribe from Ross Guild to the latest and greatest Star Wars content on YouTube. Until next time, this is Logan 5. May the force with you all. I'll definitely see you guys in the next video.